Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the content we have coming out, because today we're going to be getting into the King in Black Sword issue number 3. Now this will be the last issue for King in Black this week. We do have some X-Men stuff to cover, which we will be getting to, I promise you guys, just hang in with me, covering lots of videos, take some time to get them all out. Now this issue of Sword is really fun because it's following Manifold or Eden or Quintition, whatever name he currently or wants to go by. But for the sake of this comic, we're just going to continue to call him Manifold. Now a little information about Manifold. You know, a lot of people believe him to be a teleporter and a lot of people treat him like one, but he's so more complex than that because he can tell the universe to fold itself until he can walk across it in one single bound. And he does. And the universe does this for him. If he tells the space to warp so light passes all the way around without ever hitting him to form a little bubble of invisibility just for him, it will. Now Manifold would tell you that he's not telling the universe but asking it. And so this is just showing just how powerful he really is. He's an individual can, that can literally ask the universe to do anything if he really wanted to. Alright, so with that being said, let's dive into this issue. Alright, so this picks us up and Manifold's wandering trying to figure out what's going on. And his first stop on his travels is to his uncle. And there's not too much going on here. It's mostly just dialogue about how he's been enjoying Krakoa. And he just wanted to check on them. Make sure they hadn't seen any space dragons or anything like that. And so they say their goodbyes and he opens up a portal. Walking through it, meeting up with one of the Snark War generals. Now this is taking place in deep space. And it's the flagship of the prince. And Manifold is here to talk to him and negotiate. Because as everybody know, the earth has fallen to Null. And this prince, he doesn't have a castle, he doesn't have a fortress. His nation, his people, are constantly on the move in battleships. And so what's proposed, or offered up in exchange, is two mutants. Burner and Lifter. Burner having the ability of pyrokinesis and Lifter having the power of gravikinesis. And so what this would mean is exchanging these two mutants, giving them over to this lizard prince and their powers being taken from them, more than likely it also leading to their death. And these two mutants understand this, but what they want in exchange is for their fleet to come and help defend against Null. Help defeat the God of the Void. And this is when our Lizard Prince tells him, Have you heard of the planet Ortua? The planet Ortua was a planet his sister had planned to conquer. She had gathered her forces and went to make her way to conquer this planet, only to realize Null had arrived First. So in her confusion, her brother took advantage and the prince flanked his sister and ended her rule, sending her into hiding. So in his opinion, Noel is good for business. It's taking out his enemies because all his enemies live on planets. He doesn't live on a planet. They live in spaceships. So Noel is not a threat to him, but more or less an ally. And so he has no intentions of helping Earth in any way, shape, or form and tells Manifold that he needs to leave. But as Manifold leaves, the prince collapses and he hears a voice telling him, time to die. And this is where Manifold shows up at Alpha Flight Space Station in the office of Henry Peter Stritch. And he's overhearing a conversation talking about mutants and how they've organized and that they need to coordinate in similar fashions if they're going to be able to keep up with the mutants. And there's a lot of vague information here, but we're not finding out too much. But he does set down a folder, a folder disclosing information about some kind of protocol, some kind of operation that they want to do. And it's called the Orchis Protocol. And Manifold finds out something, enough to where he needs to get out of there. And we also learn that they have a mole with inside of Sword. And so Manifold takes off and tries to get a hold of Brand and tells her that they need to talk about the mob orbiting the sun with a celestial head, Orchis, letting him know that they got Henry. Got as 
he is turned. He's with them. But it's not a problem that they can solve today. Because she hasn't heard back from Krakoa. And she needs Manifold to go find out what's going on. So he hops through one of the Krakoan portals. Only to see everything taken over by this symbiote cable. And that will be where this issue ends. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I really did enjoy this issue. This gave us a lot of information on exactly... Who Manifold is, how his powers work, and really he, he's an Omega level character, in my opinion at least. Like to have that kind of power, to have that kind of, of strength or, and, and handle over universal powers like that is ridiculously strong. And it's only a matter of what are the limitations? What can't he do is really what we have to ask ourselves. And I really hope that they explore that more and we find out more in depth exactly what he's capable of. And I think we're going to see that in the next issue with him facing off against this symbiote cable and the rest of Noel's little minions. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Like this video, hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of this content. And until the next video.